Hi, I'm Matt from Park Cameras, and today we're having a look at Nikon's brand new mirrorless range, the Z6 and Z7. Nikon have been teasing us for weeks at the release of this product with snippets and silhouettes, but today we get a first hands-on look at the products. In total, Nikon have announced six brand new products today. The Z7, a 45 megapixel beast. The Z6, a speed machine. Three new lenses, a 35 1.8 a 50 1.8 and a 2470 f4. They have also released an FTZ lens mount adapter that means you can fit all of their existing f mount lenses onto this brand new Z series. Now let's go and have a closer look and see what this can do. So I'm here with Bruno, a Nikon expert, who's going to explain to us some of the differences between the new Nikon Z6 and Z7. Bruno. Cool. So the body is identical from the Z6 to the Z7. But the differences that you find are actually all inside, okay? Now, what we've done, basically, is we put the same D850 sensor inside of the Z7, but using the XP6 processor, we've managed to squeeze a little bit more performance out of it. So you will find that on the Z7, uh, you're going to have a 45 megapixel sensor uh, with the ISO ranging from 64 to 25,600. Whereas on the Z6, you find a very brand new, newly developed sensor from Nikon, uh, which will have a 24 megapixel sensor, 100 to 51,000 ISO. All right? That's the difference in sensors. You also find a difference in the number of autofocusing points in both cameras. So the Z7, 493. Whereas the Z6, you're looking at about 273. The speed of the autofocus is very, very similar to what you find in a pro range camera. So if you compare it to the D5 or a D850, you find that, for example, the, the Z7 at Nikon, we have compared it against the D850 with the same lens and actually found the Z7 to be a little bit faster. And so why was it that Nikon made the decision, the great decision to go to a new lens mount? I think it just boils down to the fact that, you know, having a larger mount enables our um, optical designers to create new innovative designs that just weren't possible before. You know, now we have just announced the development of a, of a knocked 58mm 0.95 uh, lens, which is something that just wasn't possible with the, with the F mount, you know. And as well as the speed of the lenses, you've increased the, the frame rate of these. It's oh amazing. yeah, definitely. So the, the frame rate of the cameras, you know, you get about nine frames a second with the Z7, which is amazing considering the resolution. But we've managed to push 12 frames a second um, from the Z6. So you've had these out in the field with uh, select photographers. Yeah. What's been the feedback from them and yourselves? I think one of the main things that we're getting is people are surprised at how good the electronic viewfinder is. You know, when you, when you pick up, and a lot of these photographers, they're used to the DSLR, they're used to looking through the lens and seeing exactly what they're supposed to see. So they're a little bit skeptical coming to an electronic viewfinder, but you know, it's a 3.6 million dot EVF uh, with Nikkor coated optics on the back and making for a superb uh, viewing experience. Um, the other thing that's been noted as well is a couple of new usability functions. For example, we've always had um, the eye menu with the Nikon cameras, which is a quick selection menu with your basic settings, but you were never able to customize that until now. You know, now you can have any setting that you want uh, on that eye menu, and whilst you're looking through the viewfinder, you'll be able to select the eye menu at exactly what settings that you want, uh, which I think our photographers are really, really enjoying because they're able to quickly change settings within the field. So, as well as the Z series, you brought out the FTZ lens mount. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I think, you know, because the Nikon F mount has been around since 1959, we thought the big selling point of Nikon that you, know, you can mount any lens on any camera. So it was a really big decision for us to even shift mount in the first place. But now that we did, the first thing that we had on our minds is we have to make an adapter that will work with our existing lenses. The mount adapter doesn't actually have any optical glass inside. And that's a great thing because light just passes straight through and there isn't any loss in quality whatsoever. Brilliant, yeah. thank you very much Bruno. Yeah, no worries. Pleasure. pleasure as always. Okay. So we've had a fantastic day testing these cameras and lenses and we can't wait to get our hands on them in the wild and bring you a proper review very soon. Until then though, I've been Matt from Park Cameras and as always, have a great day.